Major 50, they're gonna be... Aw, oh, they rolled over you. Yeah, I got, I can take primary for me. Not against a lot of smoke in the PD, Somewhere. unfortunately. You can break off the repair if you want, Moto. Yeah, 10 I'm gonna break off to repair. Uh, I'm gonna go to Davis. Oh, shit. Hey, firm. We're gonna be McDonald westbound, right? Jamestown eastbound. Hello, this is above average major away. detective Kelly Price, Blake County Sheriff's Office. What can I do for you? Entering industrial area. Hey, Kelly, it's, it's uh, Andrew. Yeah, what's up? North Popular. Um, so I happened to arrest a uh, Mr. Jerry Duval after a bobcat. Oh. He had uh, two other weapons on him, and uh, they were registered to two North other Popular, folks. We're right by, uh, and uh, I happened to get a, a video of him saying that he. Uh, he purchased shop, or this. bartered or traded for him. Oh, who, who um, were they with? Who did he take... trade him for? Who did he trade with? Well, he's he's got the that's a that's a problem. He was like, yeah, blah blah blah. blah. I, I bartered, traded for him. Right. Unfortunately, he didn't Coast name the names of who he <clears throat> traded for him with. So, like, they could have been stolen from someone, but uh, you know, they're two brand new weapons. Uh, so I, I don't. Like, I don't know that we can tie it to that person, necessarily, the gun three, three, eight, belongs I to, but I'm having horrible headaches. might be, uh, yeah. Where at? Well, who do they belong to? Envelope. Um, hang on one sec. Yeah, we're going to eat my sandwich, bro. Juan Martinez and Darren Black. Interesting. Opposite lanes of travel. Same seem familiar. Yeah, I was like... I was trying to get him to say oh, that he, he you know, he got it from them, but uh, he just kept dancing around the subject you mean, and you what have you. Bombs. He's like, I don't really know where I got them from, blah, blah, blah. You guys are you know, north on Oh, Star. those guns. And then, so back. I finally got him to now. say the words that I wanted him to, but I could never get never the names of who he got them from. The guy was pulled over. So I don't know if that's good enough for, like, to put a warrant out for the sale of those with for the, from those two people, but... I kind of doubt it. I just want to run it by you. Probably not, but uh, Darren right. Black and... Yeah, take a left here and see uh, if they went out there. Who was the other one? Martinez. Oops. Shit, I can't, can't look at the MDT while I'm on the phone. I start getting violent. Yes. Hmm. Shit. It's in that latest uh, on La Street uh, Black Car. Jerry Duval um, I'm incident. In route to pull it over. Yeah, there's like two black cars. Juan that Martinez have, you know, weapons license so. issued 9 8 2022. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Sounds I'm not right. going to be them. Did the original vehicle come back to anybody? Uh, Darren Vin's Black. Gonna be registered. The VIN's going to be registered to James yeah. 3, and I believe that's James 3. Hmm. I don't really have anything on Darren Black. That's a bluff on the, uh, taser deployment camp back to one. He doesn't the, have a uh, weapons license stocking. anymore, so that weapon's probably going to be pretty old. Uh, it said new on it, so its condition was new, so... Probably was uh, purchased a while ago, stashed. just never, yeah, yeah. stashed. But uh, the other feller's pretty new. Right before gotcha. Bolingbrook is where we lost Yeah, ice. just thought I'd throw that out there to you. Um, I was trying to get him to say that he got it from them, but he just wouldn't come out with it. If I, if I kept him any, lo any longer, and uh, I might have been able to, but you never know. Well, if you can uh, you. do me a favor... Put um, go to like Mr. Black and Mr. What's His Face's profiles, and say that a weapon registered to this person was found on your suspect. Oh yeah, I can do that. And reference the incident report. I can do that. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, of course. Have a good one. You too. I'm trying to work on my report. See what else I need to do. Uh, oh, that's what I was doing. I'm surprised my record isn't way longer. It actually, it hasn't been like that up to a whole lot. Cause you're, you're, hmm. I 
know why I always put time. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, can you meet me in the garage real quick? Uh, yeah, I guess. Make sure I'm not misunderstanding the uh, changes. There's changes. Yeah, yeah. The announcement from Parker. What are you doing, ma'am? Oh, my phone is ringing. Hold on. Who's calling you? Is it me? Hello, this is above average major uh, detective Kelly Price, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What can I do for you? Kelly, I'm very upset right now. Why are you upset? Shamu issued a weapons a license to someone. He had them pay cash and they did not take the test. What? When did this happen and how do you know? Apparently he's been threatening them too, but um, I don't know the <laughs> date. He does. He has it on their profile that he issued it. It's Benny Trotter and he has his name on there. He doesn't have the date, of course. And then I just checked the firearms response and there's no uh, test done. The guy's standing here telling me about it because he wanted to report a corrupt cop. Apparently the guy threatened to kill him. Shamu threatened to kill him. It's smile. How do you know he has a smiley face in his barrel? Because you made you look down it. Okay, okay, okay. What? But he also said that I don't know if you can look at invoices, but he's saying that he had to pay cash and not an invoice. Now he doesn't remember. He did think he did just change his story, didn't he? When you said Benny Trotter. Yep. How you spell Benny? B E N N Y. You're not trotter. trouble. You didn't issue it to yourself. T R O T E R. Interesting. Yeah. What's that guy What's wearing that you're talking to? Not. Is is no. Mr. Trotter wearing uh some black pants oh. with his underwears hanging out? No yes. shirt. Yes. You know, he asked me here when I was issuing his dumbass uh, Chase Elliott friend a weapons license, or yeah. I didn't give it to him. I heard about that's that. the only way to get the weapons license is to take that test. And he never told you? Mm mm. Yeah, apparently he, this guy said he uh, didn't have eyebrows and got denied, but it looks like he failed his test. Yeah, he did. And he also needs eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Well, shit. I as well never know. I had no idea it was that close to restart. Oh, I got water. This chicken salad sandwich is pretty delicious. Do we uh get rid of pure mode? Hmm. 
Well, I read it down. Hmm. Oh shit, I never got my incident report numbers. God damn it. Now I gotta go back and get them. <laughs> I need to go and look at the announcement. It was confusing to me. I thought I seen the one. Where's the announcement about the cars? It's not an announcement. I do remember seeing it. Well, it came to me in a moment. Listen, it was very irresponsible. I should have sued him. So my life flashed before my eyes. I almost fell off of a giant tower into a prison full of crazy inmates. <clears throat> this is tough for me to say. <sighs> Alright. You're an above average. I follow! Thank you for the follow. My heart is happy. Appreciate you. Ooh, the city's open. Hell yeah, now I can work on my paperwork. I'm sitting here at this counter doing nothing.
Last position. Let me uh come look at this car now. Ah oh, shit. Fourteen. Disappointed. Um Oh, maybe it's in a bulletin. No. 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 Maybe it's in the SOP change log. Um, that means I gotta check the freaking SOP. Where's it at? No. Why is this even open? I never got to finish his. My SEO note is this one. Oh, that's my botched apology letter. I'm gonna get rid of this. I need to call those people. my SOP at? Oh, here we go. Um. Let's go look at it. You might have been fired too. You get it, but you know Probably. who's here to who's Probably. here to say it. Well, you know who's it here. Looks to say like it. I should go up there. Huh? It should. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Kelly. What's up? You're looking good. You're looking good. I always look good. I'm, well, you're not wrong. Oh, well, Kelly. By the way, I talked to the DA because I thought you'd be interested in this. All right. Can you believe so disobeying a peace officer is only an infraction and not a misdemeanor? Yeah. Yeah, I went to get, I asked her to get that changed. <laughs> so I literally had an instance where I almost couldn't arrest somebody because they wouldn't provide their identification on a traffic stop and then they wouldn't move to the sidewalk. And I couldn't hit him with anything. <laughs> 303 is 255. Hold on. Did we get this uh, new uh, sending people to Boilerbrook today on our F1 muscle? I don't yeah, that's see kind it of yesterday. that's kind of weird because also failure to uh, provide identification is an infraction. Well, who the fuck do you give the uh, citation to? The person that's not listening to you. <laughs> that's why I went to the DA. I'm like, we we should be able to get somebody on. Every place I've ever okay, known Rockford, is failure great. to or disobeying a peace officer is a misdemeanor.
I can literally walk. I can literally so walk Kelly. through like four situations where we wouldn't be able to arrest anybody because disobeying a peace officer is only an infraction. So I asked the DA if she could check on that, and she agreed with me. So maybe we get a chance. Maybe you catch them being disorderly while they're disobeying you, and then you can arrest them. Yeah, I also considered it. I was also trying to see if it would fit under obstruction. It was my other roundabout way to do it. But... Oh, actually, it could have fallen under obstruction. Yeah. If they committed a traffic infraction and they're refusing to identify themselves, refusing to cooperate... You're not able to uh, enforce the law at that point. They are preventing themselves from being discovered, apprehended, or whatever. You know. But they never committed a crime. That would be the only thing I would wonder if it would go in court. Would be like, well, they weren't getting apprehended for a crime that they did because everything they did was an infraction. Yeah, yeah come, come over here. Yeah, yeah, this way. You know what I mean? I'm just, I, would an be, infraction the... count as a crime? Uh, I don't. I don't know because we can't like you know I mean I guess we could technically frisk somebody on a traffic stop if we really want to. if we really went down like the hard but even then probably I don't know who's the uh, uncooperative individual what do you mean who was it what brought this up who was the person did you ever identify oh, it, was tra it was just uh, yeah I ended up arresting him because he threw a punch at me but. Oh, um, who was it? it? Oh god, I can't remember who it was. I'd have to look. But uh, he was he was speeding, and I pulled him over, asked for his license. He said no, no, and kept saying no. And then I asked him to get out of the vehicle. He said no. Uh, then he was getting mouthy, so I asked him to get out. Eventually, he did get out. He stepped to the side. Um, he didn't have his license. <clears throat> and I tell you what, so, though. If you There's look some... at uh, resisting arrest, technically, when you conduct a traffic stop, you are detaining that individual for the purposes of that traffic stop. And if they are being uncooperative and not complying, they would technically be resisting arrest at that point, no? The uh, penal code uh, defines it as... Um... Let me look. Yo. Is there a meeting today? I hope so. I've been so lonely here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kelly said she's gonna host. You might you might be right there, Kelly. Actually, now that I Well, it says flees from a police officer to avoid being apprehended, detained, or arrested while on foot. So what is your definition yeah. of fleeing? That's a good point. Good point. If he walks away from you, that's technically fleeing. Yeah, I would say any movement in the opposite direction other than a <clears throat> That is true. But what do you do if somebody just sits in a car and refuses to get out? I guess at that point it would be obstruction. Yeah, that's obstruction. Is it though? Because you're... Wait, hold on. Yes. Hold on. You're trying to conduct your business and they're obstructing you from doing that. They're, they're prohibiting your investigation or whatever you're trying to do. Somebody's not able to provide you or unwilling to provide you with identification or driver's license, and you have no idea if they're authorized to be driving that car. If you get them out of that car and send that car on its way, let them go on the Shoelace Express if you can't be bothered well, to worry about them. If they refuse to get out of the car, then they're obstructing you from doing your job. But here's the thing with that. We, what defines a crime? But I guess it is a crime. Because it's saying, with obstruction, it's saying... Uh, tampers with the discovery after the crime has been committed or charged. So I'm guessing it would we consider like whatever speeding. A, I mean, it technically is a crime. They're obstructing your investigation into whether or not they're authorized to operate that vehicle. Yeah. Hello, this I is Major we're... Detective Killer Price, Plain County Sheriff's Office. What can I do for you, ma'am? Did you want to talk to these guys about the shamu thing? Oh God, those people again. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I do. All right, I have them up here at the front desk. That's us up here. Oh, perfect. I'll be right up. All right, bye. All right. Oh, God, I really don't. Well, tell me about your... No. 
No, you cannot have what? those rims on your fucking car. It, it, that looks unprofessional that as that hell, sir. sick as fuck. No, we are not going to have a cops crazy. driving around the city Jesus. with fucking cash dollar bill rims on their car, sir. Are they at least oh, spinners? Yeah. Well, when I drive, they spin. Sp drive. Oh. Drive a little. If they're not spinners, no. then you got to take them off. No. He's got to no. let the people know he's Honestly. up. Kill you. No. He's up big. He's got big dollar Damn. dollars. I actually I was, don't see uh, anywhere in the SOP that allows cosmetic upgrades. Just says no oh, cosmetic yeah. upgrades for a cadet. Um, it there is. There's nothing that on the vehicle disallows page, it. Right? Overview user guide. It tells you what you can put on. Oh, it's all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Great see, uh, vehicle fleet overview user guide. It's all the way to the bottom, second to last. And it tells you what you can put on each vehicle. Well, I don't uh, see it. Where's that I at? That what page? SOP. Is that in the SOP? Yeah, that's in the SOPs. No, sorry, not in the SOPs. In the link tree. Oh, where's the link tree? Do I have access to that? Uh, yes, Major. I hope so. It's, the, it's in the Discordia important documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I just feel like that's more of like a guide. True. Uh, yeah, so when they came out with these vehicles, that's what we were given to understand how to It's in important them. documents. I, yeah, that's uh, not our entry here. should be, yeah, I believe so. The first option. Jensen, what are you wearing? Is this your bailiff outfit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't change back yet. Does LSPD have uh, bailiff Hardeen, outfits? who's all on that bomb oh. Do you remember... I was. Uh, me, low, you, Paris. I go by. I go by. I go by Trooper Sexy. Okay. Hey, Trooper Sexy, what's your call sign? Yeah, name? get your One, two, tires five. fixed. All right. Oh, damn. How much should that cost you? I money's not an issue. Damn, you up big. Yeah. I mean, that's oh, where yeah. the wheels fit. Oh, you know what I mean? Wait, like that's... Jensen, let me see your wheels. No, do not pull <laughs> that car out. Wait, no, no, I, I, I want to see it. No, I didn't. Like, Raise I, your I, hand I don't if you want to see the car. Can't body, man. Right. Will the Explorer yeah, be the about 15... to fucking fire the shit out of you, bro? I'm going to go I, upstairs, I and I'm going to take care of some things, and I better not hear anything about your car being out with them wheels on it unless you're going to get it fixed. Yeah, go get it fixed right now. Yeah, Jensen. Yeah, yeah, go get it fixed right now. Yeah, go get it fixed. Go get it fixed. Yo. Yo. Hello. Uh, I got Mr. trying to turn himself in for a baby. He's turning someone in. I don't know what purple hair wants, and these two are the ones you want to talk to. Purple hair who's, don't care. Who's uh, turning themselves in? Red shirt. Red shirt. I'm fucking scared. What's your name, sir? Slade. Slade who? Blue. Or three dispatch. I'm gonna have a slave blue at the front desk. Need somebody to process him. See you around, slave. Thank you, Kelly. Hey, I'll see you around, punk. Hey, yeah, catch me on Grove. I dare you. On grills? I said Grove. You need to get your ears cleaned out, guy. I said Grove? Yeah, so catch uh, me on Grove. I'm getting a headache. He needs his I'll, boys I'll, I'll come process Slade. I don't need my boys Thank to you. back me up. Then what am I processing him for? Yeah, why do you say um, grove the fuck? I don't know. Okay, apparently it's a warrant. See, now, now oh. he's looking up something. No, he's out on bail. Oh. Mr. Blue's gonna be out on bail at this point in time. Is he pleading guilty to the bail? Are you pleading guilty to your bail? See. Si. He's speaking Spanish, I don't understand. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> he said yes. 
<laughs> How do you know it's Spanish then, Kelly? I'm smart enough to know oh, Spanish. No, not this. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. no, I volunteered. No, no. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> maybe across the street or something. It's quite busy and loud in here, and I don't think there's you know so, many. This guy, do you, you need something, sir? Yeah, oh, no, not license. Jimmy Law. Oh, look. Oh, there's some officers right there. Did hey. No. Wait, can somebody explain? Weapons license right like, here. This filler uh, needs so one. Pretty much turning himself well, uh, in for a Listen, Are you okay? Wait, okay. Wait, All right, listen. Wait, wait, district, hold on. District, it's district attorney. Yes. If you look down the barrel of his firearm, you'll see what I'm talking about. I know. You're coming with us. Let's go. No. Oh, God. Am I under arrest? No. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a weapons license, my boy. Under duress? No. I don't know what to tell us. Am I underdressed? I'm, yeah, I'm fucking under Eminem dressed. out here. You can't pull your pants up. You apparently forgot your belt. It's Eminem. How did I know he was exactly who she was talking about when she called me? That's subjective. That's objective. Okay. And for some reason, when you yeah, called me, I knew like exactly it, who you were talking about, even though I didn't know his name. That's I so described good. him to a T. I'm mm -hmm. so... So glad you found a shirt. A skirt? Uh, I'm glad I like women. I'm glad you like women, too. What does I that like unlock? Too. That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna quit my job. No balls. Me too. No balls. Miss Price, as we discussed on the <laughs> telephone, um, these gentlemen were running around my courthouse when they stopped me, and um, they asked me if who they complained to about police officers. So I was like, well, you can complain to me. Wait, I object. This isn't a court of law, but sir, go ahead. I, asked I was about given the summary. First. Okay. Anyways, um... <laughs> I asked him what was happening. He said he was reporting a corrupt cop. And I was like, what is his name? He goes, I don't know, but he's a big guy. So then I said, Shamu. I didn't say big. Come on. He's a round guy or something. I didn't know. He said fat. Fat. Okay. Excuse me. He was a fat guy. Okay. But I didn't say it rudely. I, cause he just he did not say it rudely. He, he I mean, it's nice not rude. It's just a, a description of an individual. You just find yeah. the biggest he's features, overweight. no pun intended, uh, and throw them at people. Yeah. <laughs> I actually and thought so, he was kind of a track. Uh, you want to okay. describe Kelly Prize? You say red hair ponytail. Southern drawl, he described you as, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I did say oh, that. Oh, well, Southern drawl, that also works. <laughs> Alright, uh, how Anyways, long ago did this incident occur? He said a few uh, days ago. He doesn't have a date. Yeah, it was like within the last two or four days. Three, four, two. Whatever between those numbers, two and four. Math is hard. It wasn't math. I just can't talk. You're nervous. I. Uh, God. Sorry, I understand. What are you doing, Benny? <laughs> what you look at? <laughs> sorry, <at>? sorry. <laughs> okay, so this officer, you express, uh, you allege that he uh, issued you a weapons license. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember, remember, I was like, kind of, uh, like. I do recall this. How come I knew who she was talking about and described you when she was on the mm -hmm. phone? Yeah. 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 Here's the question you asked. I pay attention, sir. Yeah, I didn't want to get arrested, so I came over here and I asked a lawyer. I'm not going to arrest you, sir. So he told you, you had to pay cash for it, or you offered him cash for it, or how did that occur? I don't really remember how I paid, to be honest with you. You don't remember how you paid. I know I paid 2500 because I'm broke as shit, but I just don't remember how I paid it. Did you, you guys a, have an ATM in there? A bank transfer. You check your phone. Did you do those NC... Or sir, N oh, what the F fuck? What the... Sir, sir, uh, maybe you should not possess a weapons oh license. It's the second fucking time you've done that shit today. <laughs> I <laughs> honestly did not. Oh, my God. You need to figure out what's going on. Come on I put it in the it wrong... Together. I accidentally put it in the, in the wrong, wrong pocket, pocket when I woke up. Well, maybe you should figure out which phone, which uh, pocket your phone's in, okay? And, uh, <sighs> I, I honestly don't even keep my phone in those pockets. So, uh, I don't think it would be under bank, because that doesn't show... 
Your yeah. NFC transfers don't come up at all. Uh, what's that? Where you look at somebody really hard and then you just transfer him some money. They probably didn't do that because he doesn't know. Oh, sorry. Well, Chase usually does that with the women. Okay. So, did you pay for your weapons? You said you paid 25 but you don't know how you paid it. I don't remember, honestly. Like, I really don't. What's your name? Trotter. It's, uh... Yeah. But to you, it's, uh, to you, it's, uh, Donnie Donaldson. <laughs> Guys, this is serious. We act serious. Yeah, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Hold on, let me... Benny, reset, you fucking blooming idiot. Alright. Yeah, my name is Benny Trotter, ma'am. Oh, yeah, he was invoiced. Okay, good. Oh, cool. Does that mean it's, like, a bank transfer? But you didn't have to take the test. No, but I can pass it That's right now. That's not fair. I had to take the test. Buddy, the sky isn't the only safe place to point your firearm, you blooming idiot. We can a take lot of the test tomorrow. How? Well, where else am I gonna point it? Uh, away from the people. What if away it goes off? People? It's gonna yeah, point it at the ground. That's why I point it at the sky. So if it goes off, it just goes up. It's actually more dangerous than pointing it at the ground. It comes down. It you know, me. like gravity is a thing. Except yeah. Did you know Newton's first law of physics? Yeah. Yeah. I have failed science. Um, what goes up? It doesn't come down, surprise right? me. You still <laughs> don't have eyebrows, and your shirt is still holy as hell. I said we find him for that. My dad shaved my eyebrows off, and it takes time to grow back. And I just finished racing, and I got out of the car racing that was on what? fire. Oh, this uh, is uh, Chase oh, Elliott, oh, a uh, I'm a stock car driver. driver. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he have you heard, have you heard of me before? Car. That's no. what happened to your shirt then. Yeah. Were you in a fiery crash and it burned holes into your shirt? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. My God, bless your heart. We're so happy you're here today. <clears throat> okay, so uh, you don't know the date of it. He also threatened to kill you. Why did he threaten to kill you? What happened there? Uh... He said if I used my firearm against anyone, he was going to kill me. He said, he, he threatened to kill me on like three different reasons. Uh, I don't remember all of them. But then he also had me look down the barrel of his gun. And uh, in the middle of that conversation. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Not going to lie. But it kind of made me a little bit happy because um, there was a smiley face in there. I don't know if you guys knew that. I'm gonna be honest, it sounds very reckless to me. Did you know there's a smiley face in the in his uh, assault rifle, though? Down the barrel of it? Like yeah, you look in the barrel of a assault rifle! Yeah. It happened in the PD lobby, too. It was, yeah, it was actually right where you gave my buddy here his test. But for real, like, act, like I'm telling you, if you go find him, look down the barrel of his, uh, of his assault rifle, and there's a smiley face in there. No cap. I really don't want to look down the barrel of a gun, I'm not gonna lie. Well, you could, like, I drop the magazine, know. clear it, put it on safe. I still wouldn't trust it. Yeah. Well, what do, you, what do you do when you clean your rifle? You gotta put a bore I don't think he would have passed that test, honestly, with this kind of information no, coming what are you talking about? I just talked. I just told you how to clear a gun and put it on safe and clear the barrel with and a bore that does, one, You should assume it's questions... still loaded, sir. Yes, exactly. I, well, I that's got why, that question okay, right. Stop yeah. talking. <laughs> that's why you drop the mag, you lock the bolt to the rear, you put it on safe, you clear the fucking chamber. Come on, guys. I'm a firearm professional here. Sounds like you are not. That is all mm -hmm. wrong. My dad was. You can pull out your phone right now and look it up, and it'll tell you one through five. I steps did. I just listed off. You said you were wrong. It did not. My, my, my dad. You said you were a police officer. officer. Under How'd what circumstances? Why did he have you look down the barrel of his assault rifle? Uh, because he said he was going to kill me with it. I think he needs to be fired. Said he was gonna kill you. Okay. I'll take your I recommendation his, into consideration. I guess his last name is like Kill or something though, so it's probably just like part of his like, probably like his like uh, what's that thing called when people say something like superheroes, uh, like his a motto, coincidence, 
What? What? M-O? Yeah, his memo. M-O. Yeah, that. A memo. Well, you think that's <laughs> funny? Get, get his uh, son to, to say imminent. Say <laughs> imminent. Go ahead. Eminent. Eminent. Oh my god. You no, know, he kept saying <laughs> intimate. Oh, no. <laughs> intimate thing. Oh, you should meet my prosecutor, Miss Day. She says prostitutor or something. Prostitutor. She's a prostitutor. She's actually a prosecutor. This guy yeah, pays people like that. You know that, right? He does, he does straight up bank transfers for that shit. Uh, for what? Not the prostitution? No, prosecutor. No, no. no prosecutor. Five, uh, if I can get it. Is that an embarrassment? Mm -hmm. Get... Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything else to add to your statement, sir? Uh, I own a firearm. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do about that. I know. I can I take the, the test. You want to give me like a verbal right now? Like, yeah, you gave him kind of like a verbal one earlier. I could answer all that. You know what, yeah, you, let's do a verbal test. malfunction, slap, pull, observe, release, tap, squeeze. When handling a firearm, always assume the firearm is loaded. True or false? True. You should always keep your finger off the trigger unless you intend to shoot. True or false? True. Bing. Sir, please. Uh, uh, um, when handling a firearm, the only safe place to point the firearm is towards the sky. True or false? Uh, <clears throat> false. All firearms should be unloaded when they are not in use. True or false? True. You should always store your ammunition, ammunition, ammunition in a locked location away from your firearm. True or false? True. The safety of your firearm is 100% reliable. True or false? False. If the ammunition fits in the magazine and or in the chamber, it is okay to use it even if it is not the correct caliber for your firearm. True or false? False. Ignorance and carelessness are major causes of firearm accidents. True or false? True. It is legal to store a loaded firearm in a premises that children have access to. False. <clears throat> Kid. A toddler is not physically capable of pulling a trigger. True or false? False. An illegal firearm purchase can result in imprisonment and a fine. True. Shooting a firearm is a very legal and safe way to celebrate a holiday. Uh, I mean, are we at the shooting range? Did my boy want to go to the shooting range for his birthday? No. No, you're not at a shooting range. Thank you. Pointing a firearm at someone can result in criminal charges. True. You should never use old or corroded ammunition. True. I mean, false. <laughs> what? Did you say never? True. Okay, thank you. Sorry, my ears were messing up. You can safely assume your firearm is unloaded when the magazine has been removed. False, you can still have a round in the chamber. If my firearm is lost or stolen, it should be reported to the police immediately. True. Chase, can you say that? True. Immediately. My firearm requires regular cleaning and maintenance. True. My firearm is my responsibility. True. Okay. Can I keep my license? Yeah, I'm just gonna update your profile. Do you have, a... Do you have another Also, can I have your uh, 
phone number for uh, records. Oh, oh, you see that there, buddy? Oh, I gotta grab that? gas real quick. I believe Miss Price is actually married, sir. Same traffic. Married to the streets? No, what? I just let me know your uh, phone number. Go ahead and read it out loud for me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you pull that guy out one more time. I'm fucking so. I'm, hold on, give me like two seconds. I gotta move this. Are you smoking in my courtroom? Oh, my courthouse? sorry, sorry. All right, proceed with phone number, please. Uh, it's uh, eight six two zero one three seven. If I'm in ten eight northbound, I'll get that coffee. All right, I just made a note that you have verbally passed your weapons license test. Northbound peaceful. What's the phone number for? Eight six two zero one three seven. Documentation. Prove that I spoke with you and you passed your test. Continuing westbound San Andreas Ave. We need to talk to you. We're at the intersection where northbound Palomino Ave. Do I need to like? Uh, Take the jump on the Del Perro Freeway. Reporting something. Northbound Del Perro Freeway. You oh uh, shit! Eastbound Del Perro Freeway, getting off the. <laughs> he didn't eat or drink one of the two. It reminds Southeast. me, I need to eat before I pass out. Yeah, for we're in northbound industry now, back on eastbound Del Perro Freeway. Want some French fries hey, or something? Fish. What's that chase that you guys are chasing for? That's gonna be a stolen vehicle. Denver, we need additionals at this Bobcat. Denver, I'll break off this handy Bobcat. Does he need food? Uh, I think he needs an EMS. Forty nine's available EMS if needed. Nah, I'll give him a call. Can you guys back up just a little bit so that uh, I can give him a bag of air shot for when he wakes up? PD to EMS. This is embarrassing. I'm gonna have an individual passed out here at the courthouse. Be in the lobby. And for a unit out there straight away. Yeah, be that I placed a call. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I buy like a bag lunch from you, ma'am? You can have one, Kelly. I have lots of them from Bob the Oh, oh shit. Thank you. Or I didn't make it. I'm too busy. Oh. OW! Oh, oh, girl, sorry! Bye. What happened to you? I'm, I'm I hungry, slipped brother. over him. He, he passed out. Passed out I think I think him. that deserves two bag lunches. Hey, are you hungry now? Because I accidentally opened one while doing that. No, I just opened one Come and on. ate. Hey, on, ate their a way. burger. Yeah. EMS is on their way. Here's put some pizza. put him down, sir. It's okay. He's with us. Oh, well, oh, EMS hey, is I'm coming. Oh, oh thank right. you. This, this is more than enough. I like your suit, by the way. Wait. Very nice. Thank you. Um, I had a uh, bench trial earlier, and I matched the prosecutor. Oh, well, at least you got that going for y'all. Did you win? Yes. Text, text. Mr. Sasha Four. Mark so that girl asked for Oh, you can just call him enough. Sasha Dumbass. Yeah, he was on a failure to appear and oh, another right. thing, and Yo, he has some crazy wild story, but he right? got put behind bars. You like it, shut up. Good. Oh. Can, can you guys stop teabagging him? Sir, may I help you? Yeah, my name is Tex Bagwell. They call me Teabag. Oh my god, that's a Thank you, oh, Roy. I'm not with him. I appreciate him. you, and I miss and you. Oh, you're with Mr. him. Uh, I got Mr. Hungry Pants. There's more of y'all. Got it. That's correct. Take care. Tons. All right, man, what happened? Exciting. I'm hungry, man. He tried to pull uh, something out of his butt too quick and he fell down. He tried to what? 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 I said he forgot to eat. He fell oh. down. Get you back up on your yeah. I just pulled up. I could swap out with you. I'm having trouble with my head. There's plenty in this room, guys. <laughs> I appreciate Only thing slow is your that. stomach from all the gas because you didn't eat. It doesn't have. It doesn't have whey protein in it. It's just gonna. 
I mean, this way pro team is not going to be. Uh, they have four is that shooting right now. Oh, uh, Chase. Yeah. I couldn't get to the damn smelter because I can't can't see. All right, want to get you up on your feet? You've been mining. Me, okay? What's your name, right, man? Brother. Oh yeah. My name is uh, uh Donnie. Nice. But uh, when when the vanilla the views open, uh, my I think I'm allergic to the place because my eyes swell up and I can't see shit. Oh. Yeah, it's a little problem I have. I might have to get LASIK. Oh, that's fun. You don't have to wear glasses anymore. I still like my glasses. Oh. Damn, that book didn't really hit. That's a that's a steep protein shake. Holy crap. Yeah. That probably had like ivermectin or something in it. There you are. Thanks, brother. The what? I don't know what that is. Uh, nope. We've all eaten. Thank you. Yeah, I'll right, yeah. nourish ourselves except for this dumb dumb. Listen here, Ozzy Osbourne. Hey, Kelly, I have questions. Wow, wow, wow. How do you feel if. Yeah, I know. Damn thing got hold of us in Peace officer was a misdemeanor versus a infraction. I think that would make a lot more you sense. You got a bunch of holes in your shirt, man. Same, same. I don't know why it's in I know, it's from the burning car. Uh, presenting that to the judges. The trooper explained it to me, and I'm gonna be honest. I thought of some some other loopholes and things that we could do, but I mean that would be us escalating the charges. Yeah, radio Technically, you're detained during a traffic stop, so it could be considered. Who's that? Resisting. If you're refusing to provide identification. Uh, part of that Benny, stop, it could Benny, be there's someone behind you. Oh. Obstruction. Hi, Mr. Shamu. Shamu. What if I talk to you for a little bit? Sure. Damn, I got fired already. No, <laughs> he didn't get fired. Uh, okay, I shot him. You want to ask me out because now you think I'm amazing and I'm wonderful and I'm the best person in the world and I'm so hunky and juice. Am I correct? Something like that. Something like wow, that. Wow, that you, was embarrassing. You, I was actually you are correct. being used to provide information as part of an internal and or administrative investigation. This is a voluntary interview. Okay. Do not have to answer any Yeah, questions. yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyways. So no what discipline. He, so Do he not interrupt me, sir. No disciplinary action will be a... Uh, Taking against you solely for refusing to answer questions. However, the evidentiary value of your silence may be considered as part of the facts surrounding the case. Any statements you choose to provide may be used as evidence of criminal wait, and wait. administrative proceedings. Do you understand? Are you willing to proceed? Can you go back down like one line and what you say? If I not available to say the thing that I want to say, I'm in big trouble. That's what you said. No, I said no Can you translate that for me, Jenny? No, no disciplinary actions are going to be taken against you solely for refusing to answer questions. That means you don't have to answer them if you don't want to. However, the evidentiary value of your silence can be considered as part of the facts surrounding the case. That means, uh, you know, if you choose not to speak and what you choose not to speak around, uh, we can infer some certain things for that and use it to support the case. Do you understand, sir? Jenny, can you please translate in the simple people words what she said? Your words can be used against you. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just it, it's not super serious in my. I'm, I'm just asking some questions. Yeah, yeah. He said I'm gonna cheat on you and shit. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, that uh, individual what? over there. Do you recognize that individual? Wait, which one? Mr. Trotter, the one not doing dick ups. The one flexing. I have no clue who that guy is. He looked like a bitch. Okay, Am well I supposed can... to like him? No, you can check check the oh, NPC wait, that... for Benny oh. Trotter. Uh, you issued him a class one weapons license. Benny Trot Trot Trotter. Just look him up. Oh. I don't know how to spell his name. How you spell it? Tango, Romeo, Oscar, Tango, Tango, Echo, I'm Romeo. I wasn't the only one. You know that? I don't know how to fuck it. Yeah. Alright, I find him. Oh, perfect. Oh, I see he... Uh, Eskil... Okay, I didn't write that. That wasn't me. Because I would have put Shamu Top Shot or some shit. Oh, that wasn't you that uh, issued him a class one weapons license. I did not write anything <gasps> like that. PH862? I don't know what that... What? I don't know what the... 
Oh. I don't know. It says P H eight six two three yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I, I put that, that in there. That's his phone oh, number, oh. sir. And then below oh, that, right. he has passed his uh, verbal weapons license test. And below no, that, I don't, I don't, class one I don't license see nothing on is it. killer. No, for real, dog. That's some off shit. That wasn't me. I think it would have been one of the other cops they trying to frame. Shamu, I think it was Gamble. Sh Shamu, I'm asking you to be half serious for half a second, sir. Okay. Why did you not give him the test? Okay. You caught me. I was caught. I'm a bad liar. All right. So what happened was. I was un un uninformed of the test. I haven't been around at all. And someone was like, Hey, Shamu, I'm giving this guy a license. Can you just give him the license? I say, Okay, sure. I don't know who it was. BCSO, he, he don't wear a hat, but he kind of has the same haircut as. Where does he go? He has kind of the same haircut as. He said, Can you give him the license? And he walked like a. He walked like, walk, walk, walk like this. He walked like that. And he, he looks say, like what? He looked like the guy in the picture, basically, but BCSO and kind of bitch. Okay. Uh, won't you do me a and, favor? And then he said, and then he say, he say, Shamu, there's people shooting. I need you to watch them. I say, man, I'm the shooter. Let me go. I don't know how to do this. He say, you know, just give it to him. I say, nah, fuck the ops. And I gave it. So, but I know there is a test, but I was uninformed, you know, of the, uh, the test. Given. You know, believe me. Very you know there's there. a test, but you didn't know how to I figured out access afterwards. the test, and so you was no, like, I, I, figured it out I got more important shit to do, so here you go, or, or how did that no, go? No, I wouldn't have, Kelly, I would not have given it to him if I didn't, if I didn't care. Anyways, I, I was very uninformed of the test. He, he said, yeah, yeah, just give him the license. I had figured he had done some kind of background information. I checked, he don't have any, you know, prior, you know, I haven't been around a good five, six months, I don't remember it. Okay, do me a favor, get out your tablet. Oh. Alright, I want you to go to the email system. Check out the important oh, no. documents. Check out the link tree there. Okay. Alright, in there. Farms, applications, and registration system. Hmm. There's the test. Then you can go back to that link tree and you can see the forest responses. Those are the test results. Wait, so is this what this was about? The whole thing? You were saying, why did you give this guy? This was the whole thing? Were you weren't flirting with me or not? No, I wasn't flirting with you. Um, I do have additional questions, though. Oh my god. Okay, read me right again. So now you know where and how to access that test. Yeah, baby. It's perfect. Okay. Did you threaten to kill him? Kill who? The individual who? who you gave a weapons license to. For what? I don't know. Multiple times. Did you threaten to kill him at any point in time? I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember him. I don't even remember having a conversation with him. Where's your assault rifle, sir? Your class 2 firearm? I left it at the station. Well, actually, no, it's in my trunk of my car. Is there a smiley face down the barrel of your gun? There is, in fact, a smiley face on the barrel of my gun. And how would I know that? I don't know. I got told by DOC. They came up to me asking how I was doing. I say, I'm good. He says, look at your... I say, how the fuck am I supposed to look at my... Dick? And he took a picture of it and he showed me. And, and how would pictures. that individual know that there was a smiley face down the barrel of your fucking assault rifle, sir? Because I told him I turned around and say, hey, look on my back. I don't, I don't see what you're asking. How's he going to see it if it's on your back? It's pointed up. I show you right. Did you no, point the barrel can... at him? Did you Why point? Would I, do I, that? I don't know, Shamu. Did Why you would you do that? You don't remember him? Who, who, why would I do this? Let me ask you a question. What's the, what's the entire issue here happening? Because you're leading me into other shit. 
I'm just trying to ascertain whether or not you pointed a gun at a civilian at a police station in the lobby who was there for a weapons license where you threatened to hey, kill about, him. Why don't, you, why don't you check the cameras? Oh, you know exactly hmm? why I won't check the cameras, sir. Because I didn't do shit. Mm -hmm. Ask him. Ask him. Let me go talk to him. Let me ask him. Be like, yo, did I put the gun at you? But I can go grab my rifle for you, Kelly. Oh, yeah, let's Save go your ask him. Where's he at? You dickhead. You know what? I don't like you, but I love you. And so it's very hard to be mad at you. <laughs> hey, it's cool. Wow. Interesting. He is really small, really small. In life, Kelly Price. Oh, this ain't even bad. This is just me at the front desk today. I was, like, I was about to ask if this was your front desk duty because a lot of those front desk people said their day is very boring, but it looks very exciting.